friends, it's Natasha. I haven't done an update in a few weeks because there hasn't been a whole lot to say, but the last time I had to go get my neutrophil count tested again um, so that when I went up to the thousand, I could go back on Kiss Cali. So I, it's been a whole thing trying to figure out how much of the medication my body can handle. Physically, I haven't noticed a difference, but they just look at my neutrophils because I'm at risk for infection if they get down too low. So um, I am now taking one Kiskali pill a day down from three, which is what they start you at. And most people I believe are on three. Um, so I am a little bit worried that one might not be effective, but we will soon see. Um, I'm hoping that all the other things I'm doing, like my diet, uh, will make it so that one is still effective. Um, I, so I'm taking one, I've taken one single Kiss Kali and the Anastrozole every day for two weeks now. I have one more week and I still get a break week after three weeks on one week off. I have a PET scan scheduled, the first PET scan since the one the original one when I found out, um, or I guess I had already known I had, the cancer had metastasized in uh, because of the pleural fusion, but I didn't know if it was, you know, where it was in the body. And that told me it was in little nodules along my chest wall and whatever fissure means, that was in the PET scan too. So, um, chest lining I think is basically where it was found. Luckily it wasn't found in other places because uh, like I said before, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and a lot of people just have it all over their liver, their bones. Bones seems to be a huge one. So luckily I have, there was nothing in my bones, um, nothing in my brain, all that stuff. So we are gonna take the, get the PET scan on April 10th um, I don't even know what day of the week it is, but it's coming up. My son's birthday is April 4th. We're going to Monterey next week for a couple nights. The aquarium, the whole thing. We did it um, last year and the kids loved it. So we're going to stay in a hotel for a couple nights. April 10th is my parents' wedding anniversary. Um, I think it's like 53 years, something like that. Um, anyway, I am excited. Um, a little nervous, um, but I really can't wait to see what is happening. I don't think it's getting worse because I think I would have had the pleural fusion come back. Um, so my guess is it's either stable or it has gotten better. Obviously, I hope that the cancer is gone and I am NED, but I don't know if that is likely just being on one cycle of Kiskali uh, or three cycles, but only you know, going from three pills to two pills to one pill. So fingers crossed. I look forward to that update and um, hopefully I have some really good news then. Um, so next I need my Lupron shot. I'm supposed to be doing it next Friday, but I'm gonna do it the following Monday because we'll be in Monterey. Um, so uh, just a few days late for that shot. That is the shot that shuts down my ovaries every month since I am pre-menopausal, pre but now I'm forced to be post-menopausal. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. I've felt good. I've been releasing classes, doing my workouts, um, going full steam on the ketogenic diet. A lot of people have asked me what kinds of foods I eat and if I can talk more about the diet. So I do measure my ketones. I do the Keto Mojo P urine test strips, um, but then someone told me those weren't always reliable. Um, so I did actually purchase the Keto Mojo like glucose monitor and the ketone monitor. So now I've been doing it with blood as well. And I have noticed that the urine sticks are pretty accurate because um, they tend to match up. Um, today I measured at 0.9 ketones and like 68 on the glucose. Um, so I'm not getting into super deep levels, which is a bummer because I feel like I'm trying so hard. I'm definitely in ketosis 
but I feel like I'm on the lower levels that are just beneficial for like weight loss. Um, and I'm not doing it for weight loss at all. I'm doing it for, you know, the benefits of hopefully, um, the therapeutic benefits, which I'm not getting into therapeutic levels. So we will see. Um, I am really being careful. I eat eggs with maybe a spinach, a kale, something, cheese, um, butter. I'm trying to add fats. I think that is where maybe I go wrong is I'm getting more protein than fat because protein will also turn into glucose. So the diet has to be predominantly like 70% fat and ideally healthy fats, which is what I do. So I add, I'm eating so much butter. I put butter in the eggs. I use like avocado and cheese. I try to fatten everything up. My coffee in the morning, I put um, a tablespoon of MCT oil. So that's just like straight healthy fat. Um, and I even use heavy cream. So I don't really know where I'm going wrong to not go deeper. I have a feeling that it's the meat eaters that um, the carnivore that just eat the meat, so no carbs and the fats, like the butters um, and oils, obviously no seed oil, but I am just doing my best. I feel like I'm doing a great job and it is disappointing when I look at my measurements and they are not that deep. Any feedback, any dietitians out there that understand the ketogenic diet, I would love to find someone to actually work with. I take pictures of my food Pretty much, I mean, 80, 90% of the time, I try to make sure that I um, am documenting. I'm not writing and I'm not really counting per se. I did do a couple days of counting and I feel like I'm staying around 20, 20 carbs a day. And I'm, I stopped using like net carbs. I'm trying not to play any fiber games. I'm trying to do it so legit. So um, yeah, if anyone can give me some tips, um, I am doing it pescatarian, so I haven't gone to meat. I haven't eaten meat since I was 16. There is a big thought in my mind of maybe um, I will have to add meat in at some point if I'm gonna like go full steam, but I've been able to do, I eat a lot of fish. I'm eating shrimp, tuna with like organic mayonnaise um, to get good fat there. Um, what else? Salmon, yeah. So, um, and I'm really just trying to keep those carbs down. I'm, um, yeah. So, but I feel really good. I wouldn't say that I am um, feeling the same as like a couple weeks in when I was like, I never got tired and I was like this ball of energy. I feel like that's kind of just um, leveled out where I don't feel highs and lows like with sugar where I just feel like I need to take a nap, but I don't feel like just, Ah, wild energy all the time like I did in the first maybe month or two which was really cool I kind of wish that was back but um no but I feel very healthy very good I am trying to you know lift weights keep up eat cardio to burn off any extra glucose and sh uh, you know carbs that I am eating um so I use the peloton which is sitting right here and you know I teach classes a few times a week like four or five classes a week and I'm filming at least two classes a week so check out my classes here work out with me um and yeah so what else diet would be um sometimes like a salad um and I watch the vegetables I only eat things like spinach kale broccoli celery um, some cucumber, like low, you know, carb veggies, definitely nothing starchy. Um, even the only fruit I'm really allowed to have are berries. And even then I'll have one strawberry cause I know it adds up so quickly and just a few raspberries. Um, I was doing some whipped cream and now I'm rethinking that cause I'm really looking at everything to see what is going wrong. So I'm even like cutting out whipped cream. I've cut out like the granola, all the little things, um, just for now, just to play around with what's working and why I'm not going deeper in. So I'm trying to figure that out. I have even cut out this, I finally found like a keto creamer that I really liked and has zero carbs, but there are a couple questionable questionable ingredients like sucralose. So I even, I'm cutting out like everything, trying to get really deep into ketosis. 
Um, but anyway, so I'll eat a big lunch. I layer in healthy fats. I put hemp hearts, organic hemp hearts on everything, black seeds, um, a little bit moderate because those do have some carbs. Um, and chia, um, yeah, I'm just olive oil, cheeses, healthy cheeses. Try just got goat cheese. Um, I'm trying to do it all, but I'll eat a big lunch and then I um, don't eat after four, sometimes even earlier. Um, I found a keto chocolate powder that is high fat, um, very low carb. I think it has like two carbs. Um, and I've been doing that as a last shake and sometimes I'll add, you know, some more fats, hemp seeds, and a little bit of like almond or peanut butter, um, obviously unsweetened. Um, and that has been awesome. It's been really filling, but again, I'm trying to figure out, is it that that's what, what's kicking me so low on the reader? I haven't figured it out. So some days I'm playing with it, without it, trying not to overdo the protein, trying to load the fat. Um, I am down to like 101 pounds, um, so I have lost quite a bit of weight and I don't want to lose any more. That would be like 100 pounds would be like my lowest I want to go to. Um, I never did this for weight loss. I'm happy with the weight loss, but I don't want to lose any more weight um, and I'd love to put on even more muscle and just get really strong and I feel really strong. So that is my update. Um, I would never know that I have metastatic breast cancer if it wasn't told to me because I feel so good um, and I'm just very hopeful that the diet, the exercise, the lifestyle, and the medication, I'm doing it all. I'm on anastrozole and Kiskali and the Lupron shot, so three things and then I take supplements as well. Um, the bone health strength, the calcium, magnesium, uh, zinc, um, and I told, talked about it last time, um, now I'm forgetting the one that brings your glucose levels down, berberine, and I'm thinking some like, uh, is it lion's mane? One of those mushroom properties, turkey tail or lion's mane? I think it's turkey tail, and then I've been eating a lot of lion's mane mushrooms, but try not to overload because those actually have carbs in them too. So it is a lot of balancing and figuring things out, but um, I am loving the diet actually. Um, I hope I'm doing the right thing. You know, I'm just doing this on my own. Um, so yeah, time will tell. April 10th, PET scan, that is what I'm looking forward to next. And I will update you when I get that information. That will be the tell all to let me know if I'm doing things correctly, if, if everything's going well. Thanks so much for being here and listening to me ramble about my health and sharing your own stories means the world to me. Um, yeah, let me know what you're going through. I know there's a lot of you out there in the same position as me and it's really sad how much cancer there is out there. So best of luck to all of us. I'm looking forward to that vaccine that I can take that will wipe it all out. I really am hopeful because I I know there's a lot of clinical studies once in like a phase three trial. So that's where I'm putting all my eggs in that cancer vaccine that's gonna just make me NED forever. And uh, yeah. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.